Okay guys, what you see me making there is a tool to get the screen in the GM 4.3 engine oil pump. You see I've got the oil pump mounted in the... I'm still over here at the milling machine. Uh, there's a tool we just used to cut the slot. I've got a one inch slot cut in this piece of... Uh, I don't know, just a piece of scrap stuff I had around 2 inch OD. Uh, looks like quarter inch wall or something. Just got that out of scrap pile. I have the pump. There's two flats on the pump where you can put it in a vise. Uh, and I have it supported in the milling machine vise. And uh, when you go and get an oil pump, the screen's not already attached. So you've got to find a way. This is a press fit. And you've got to find a way to get it in there without screwing up the screen. So uh, I'll show you what I'm doing with that tool. Okay, here's the screen, and I just went again in my pile of stuff, and I got a, a split collar. And we're just gonna tighten that on there. Uh, I'm just making this some scrap I have laying around the shop. I'm just trying to show you guys um, how to do it. If you have, or if you don't have it, you just can get it. You can get a piece of pipe. You can get a split collar. That's a uh, a three quarter. This this is a three quarter tube, three quarter ID, two inch OD. Uh, put the screws where you can get uh, you can get it off after you install it, and then <clears throat> that gives us something to uh, to drive on uh, with our with that tool we made. And if you get it in the right orientation. Uh, you don't want to put it in backwards or sideways or uh, it's got to be basically parallel with that surface. Um, <clears throat> and you can see there's a swell on that. We're not exactly up again. We're, we're close to it, but we're tight on the shaft. And then it's just a matter of getting this guy lined up. I have some marks here. You see the tool will slide over that and sit on our collar. Make sure we're parallel with the bottom. That looks good. It does take some force. You got to hit that. It is it is a press fit. Just keep checking it and you'll see when you're up against it. It feels good. And we're just going to take the collar off. Now that seems like something fairly simple. Um, a, a lot of guys have screwed this up. And there is a tool that used to be available. Uh, I don't know if it's available, but when it was available, to, you know, it was a screen installing tool. Um, when that was available, it was over a hundred dollars. Uh, if you don't do a lot of screen installations, obviously, it hurts to pay a hundred dollars just to put that together. <clears throat> and like I say, I had this. I got a bunch of. You know, everybody's probably got some a special drawer where they keep a bunch of stuff. I had this laying around here. I had the piece of pipe laying around. Like I say, you just need that cutout to get around there. Um, so in about 15 minutes, I had a tool. I got the screen in. It's nice and secure. Uh, this won't move now because it's a press fit. Um, but that's the safest way I know of to get that screen in there without damaging it. So just a short one today. Uh, I just want to show you guys, if anybody's wondering how those screens get pressed in there, uh, <clears throat> it can be tricky, um, but very easy if you uh, if you make a tool for yourself. So, hope that helps somebody out trying to get the screen into their oil pump. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.